Hi right, guys, it's Vodatron Switches, and guys, you know, when growing up, what was the best thing about being a kid? For Christmas mornings, yes, yeah, brilliant, but you know, when you went out to your mum and dad's, and you saw Woolworths, you saw Toys R Us, yes guys, toy shops, we love toy shops, so me, I virtually live in a toy shop, so I want to take you around and give you an update in my collection, my personal collection, and what it's like to virtually be living in in a toy shop. Right guys, there is my street door. There's my leisure jacket. <laughs> so guys, as you come straight in, straight away you hit you hit a Hoff display. As you can see there. And then just at the top guys, this is just a bit of a storage area, but there's a free arcs there. There's a sectors in its box. And then I've just got a black series part there. But then if you come down, this is my sector section. Like I said, guys, so this is exactly when you come through the street door. So down here, you've got all the red shadows, a couple of his tanks, Robo Skull, Iron Blood and the Crew. A few shadows there, as you can see. I do love my red shadows. Below there, my little dreadnought section that I've started, I've still got loads to get, but you've got to start somewhere. And then I've got a few Cobra, and again, a couple of Hiss tanks. And then down below, you've got the Action Force section. Guys, as you come to the top of the stairs, it's my carry on film collection. This is one of my favourite sections also, it's my Dungeons and Dragons. I absolutely love my Dungeons and Dragons. Um, as you can see there, I've got the Growl piece, Tiamat. Like I said guys, I absolutely love Dungeons and Dragons. I think it's an absolutely brilliant cartoon. So from there, there's just the windowsill, there's the Buck Rogers poster, film, A4 print, and a Buck Rogers ship. There's a troll from Lord of the Rings, Dark Vader's carry case. Now this guy used to be, remember guys who've seen my videos before, that used to be an 80s window. But as you can see, I've done a lot of shuffling about. So this is my little 80s section here. So you've got like the dinosaurs, Scooby-Doo, Mumra. T-Rex, the A-Team, Brave Star, Danger Mass, Inspector Gadget, Tasmania, The Mars, Smurfs, Kent, Duckula. I kept that from the Imagine X because I, I do love the Green Ranger, not as much as Aaron. <laughs> but that was one of my favourite uh, monsters from the, uh, I think it was just one of the Megazords, isn't it? But yeah, um, I'm not trying to compete with Aaron. Aaron is way out there with the Green Ranger. Um, actually, I prefer the White Ranger, to be fair. Lino, just up here, you've got the Pac-Man game. Um, around the top there, as you can see, I've got all the Star Wars games on numerous consoles. It's a nice Predator picture there. Um, oh, Slimer, but... We'll leave that one there. There you've got the Kylo Ren mask coming out the wall. Up here I've got the Hasbro wrestling ring. That's just a couple of doubles there. Yeah, Armour Warrior and the Bushwhackers. In there you've got E.T., Zippy, Garfield, Roland Rat, Alf. And this, this section I love as well. It's my little Pixar section. It's absolutely awesome. It's got all my little favourite Disney Pixars. Um, unfortunately, there was no room for hopper in the box <laughs> so he's trying to he's trying to get in um there's a few of my mp transformers unfortunately they're not all on display 
due to space. Um, in the corner there, you've got a couple of Austin Power figures. You've got a Death Star coming out the wall. Around the top, guys, you've got some Star Wars figures. Uh, this is my garbage pile kick section. Um, it's, I just love garbage pile kids. I, I had hundreds of them as a kid. Um, there's my Adam Bone garbage pile fig figure. A couple more Star Wars figures there. There's my big Daleks poster. There's my because I can't actually afford the Eternia playset at the moment. Um, because it is absolutely huge and it's a lot of money, guys. So I've just got a poster there. Here, more Star Wars figures at the top. Come around the top of my bedroom door. Quick peek at the bedroom, a bit messy. <laughs> Loads of clothes everywhere. More Star Wars figures. <clears throat> Come around here, we've got a couple of Miles Attacks figures. Just a few boxes on display. Come around a bit, there's more Star Wars figures above the bathroom door. Then we come through to the Ghostbusters section. Now the Ghostbusters section is here. Um, I bought This is my new firehouse that I bought from Andy from Toy Division. As you can see, Andy, if you're watching this, mate, I've now got a few ghosts in place. So very happy with my Ghostbusters section. I've got a few more monsters on the way. So here we've got the Power Rangers. This is my small Power Rangers section with Voltron. You can see Voltron there, which I actually bought from Tom from Pizarro Pieces. That's the last time I think Tom was at Chatham Toy Fair. So thanks for that, Tom. This is my small Terminator section. It has got a Necker figure in there. So it's got a couple of Necker figures, but it's mostly Kenner. I do love the Terminators. So we come down, we've got a very small Robocop section. Followed by loads of the uh, Star Wars Infinity. Down below there's a load of droids and Slave 2, I believe. A couple of really, uh, retro... Relic? <laughs> Retro Star Wars figures and a couple of ball there. So we come over, guys. Now, this is my Hasbro collection. Now, it's getting there. It's just, I've, got, I've got quite a few now. There's still loads I need. But I'm very, very happy the way it's coming along. That's that, that's one Jordan. I've even got um, Adam Bomb over there. I don't even see it. Let's open this up a bit. Let's see what I'm going now. We've got a sheik in the corner. I don't know the Kurt Angle there. You come down. I know that Ultimate Warriors aren't meant to be there, but Ultimate Warriors are one of my favourites. I've got Gold Dust, Boss Man, Manny, Akeem, Jake the Snake, Ravishy McRude, Sergeant Slaughter, Sid Justice, Anvil, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, El Matador. Danny, this is my uh, tag team section. And I've got um, Demolition at the top. Dusty Rhodes is down there because he's one of the, uh, what you call it, Grail pieces. So I'm glad I finally got him. Undertaker and Kane together. IRS, Andre the Giant, The Rock, Randy Savage. The Rockers, my favourite tag team. Hulk Hogan. It's all there, guys. Steve Austin. But like I said, guys, there is loads I need. So, um, you know, but I will get... Bits and bits as we go along. We go down below. We've got Bacchio hair, guys. Bacchio hair. I like Bacchio hair. Very colourful. Very nice. So very, very happy to have Bacchio hair in my collection. The car is still continuing from the hallway. There's the Ghostbusters there, as I showed you. Up here, we've got the Castle Grey Skulls. There's two of them there. That I absolutely love. It's the classic Castle Grey Skull. And it is an absolute beauty of a beast. I, I, I'm absolutely in love with it. So a couple of custom hall troopers there. There's the Batman Batcave. Which goes with the Savage World and all that. Um, it's just tucked there in the corner. Because it's just a few play sets guys. We come over to here. 
This is my Mortal Kombat, like I showed you before. Just realised there's a couple of figures been knocked over there. But um, I shall sort that out. But yeah, Mortal Kombat. Absolutely love it. So guys, going back to my childhood. Toy Soldiers. Now we all love Toy Soldiers. So there's my Tempo Vikings. Very, very good guys, but as you can see there, a couple of missing arms and that. They are very, very fragile, as you can see there. It's just unfortunate. It's only those, um, those Tempo soldiers that really do it. There's my Crusaders. Not all Tempo there, but mostly Tempo. I, I had hours and hours and hours of fun with these when I was a kid. This is my Roman army. Absolutely brilliant. These, I believe, are Britons. Very, very sought after. And I've got loads of them. Going down here, we've got the Timpo Knights. There's a few Briton Knights in there as well. Honestly, guys, the, the, the battles I had as a kid, you wouldn't believe it. And then we've got the Britain Space. I love this section as well because again it's very, very colourful. This is another section that's in the hallway. This is a few ships, a few of my X-Wings. Again, that's just below the other section I just showed you. So as you can see, guys, this is all, this is just all in my hallway. This is just the hallway. <laughs> my front room door. <laughs> Darth Vader and Alien. And then the beautiful Transformers. So guys, just a, as you can see, this is my front room as we're going in. There's the city. This is actually in the front room now. There's my Stormtrooper, which I got my wife got for me from Asda's. Over here, it's all the Mandalorian, just above the fridge. This is my Death Star. It's only a cardboard one, but it's got a load of, uh, what are they called, attacks on it. So it's a little, you've got Vader versus Luke there. Just over here on the kitchen side, you've got a little drama in the, in the desert. Back. There you go, there's a couple of Independence Day figures up the top there. Following it round again, some more Star Wars figures, cut little posters. Another great section that I've got is the Alien Corner. As you can see there, there's a few Marines making a last stand against some aliens. There's the great big alien coming out of the wall. Which I absolutely love. Got that from Nerd Base from Craig. Thank you, Craig, if you're watching this. It's kind of Independence Day today. They wasn't there before, but I had to find someone from the go. So I thought, why not? They are aliens. So I just shoved them in the corner there as well. There's another um, kind of part of the aliens. As you can see, there's a few more Marines in there Hudson, Drake, and a load of the aliens there with the Alien Queen. Coming down, you've got my Black Star. And Hercules section. There's a few black star in there. Coming down, this is my Remco and Zolo world. 
There's the baking soda to get rid of the smells. There's a few more Warrior Beast, Realm of the Underworlds. And a couple of more Realm Codes in the corner. There is a couple of extra stores in the corner down the floor. Just behind them guys, I'm not going to put them out, but there's a few hulks in that. So that's just, this is just behind the front room door. Not front, yeah, front room door, sorry. Just a couple of my hive wars there, just in case you didn't catch them. This is my battle beast and laser beast. And they're cutting the new ones, I can't forget their names now. Uh, I've, I've, I've got, I've had a few... Battle Beast of Andy, again, Toy Division. But I had loads of Battle Beast myself. That I definitely got from Andy, um, Andy from Toy Division. Absolutely love it. Right next to the Battle Beast section now. So it's absolutely awesome. Just in this section here, you've got the Eternia Minis. Let's move this coat out of the way. Got a few more coming. And the, hopefully they'll arrive this week. Just down there, you'll see it's my supernatural section. Absolutely spot on. And then down there, you can see I've got a supernatural tomb in the box and a supernatural magazine. Hello Yoda, how are you? <laughs> so coming around guys, there's a couple of more little Terminator bits. Uh, there's one of my grail pieces. It's the Sector's Hive. Absolutely beautiful beast. Got this from the Leicester Toy Shop. So thank you boys for that. It's just a couple of loose figures there. Uh, it's a custom hall deck. Up here, we've got the Fan Fortress from Dungeons and Dragons. That's another beautiful piece, very sought after now as well. See, there's my TV. Just at the back there, guys, we've got a couple of uh, posters and a few Star Wars figures. Stormtrooper there, R2-D2. There's a Shadow Trooper. Just up here, I finally got Turbo Man. Um, very glad I finally got one of them. There's one of the joys from Disney World. Um, Mojuk. There's the Visionaries Dagger Assault Vehicle, very sought after. Down to my, there's a few more little Cowboys and Indians at the top there. This is my Visionary section. As you can see. The Stormtrooper in there. <laughs> Again, it's just for storage. Down on the floor there, you've got Darth Vader. So just behind him is my Thundercat section. As I said, guys, it's, it's, it's a bit cramped, but it works. There's a few of my wife's Disney bits. So I'm just under the TV as well. She's got a few more Disney bits. Up here. It's my Hot Wheels section. I've actually got a few nice little Hot Wheels. A couple of figures there from Nima Studios. Deflatron and Jawbone. That's a bloke called Nick, guys. If you've not looked it up, Nima Studios. Very, very good guy. And he's got some lovely bits. I want to get a couple of these find his feet and a trapdoor, I think. And I'll look into that. So, guys, coming around here, as you can see at the top of the wall there, I've got a few video inserts for movies. A couple of my big ships. It's a gunship, drop ship. Over here. This is my little Mandalorian section. A 
At the top there you've got Boulder Hill. Now guys coming down there's another Castle Greyskull from the 2000 line. There's a few He-Men in there. Fisto, Zodak, obviously Buzz Off. And to name a few. Guys, this is another wonderful section. This is my Labyrinth and Dark Crystal section. I'm trying to get some never-ending story bits, but they are so hard to get. But time is of essence, and I will get them eventually. Coming down again, this is my horror section. As you can see there, there's Exodus, Critter, Michael Myers, It, Pinhead, Leatherface, American Wealth in London. I've actually got the werewolf. Look at that, guys. Cool. A few Puppet Master figures, which I bought off Brob. Down here's another Predator section. This is the Kenner of Predators. And I've also got a PVC statue one, which I absolutely love. And the muscle's just there for now. It's not a permanent fixture. And this is my, as you can see, this is ready for my Saturday um, toy show, part three. So, let's cut this, so it's just to prove, guys, that I do get stuff being delivered. It's just I haven't got time to open them yet. Down there's my Masters of the Universe movie section. Coming back up to the top, this is my Masters of the Universe snake section. Excuse the light, if I come down the side there, should be able to get a better view. Then you've got the hall deck section. With the fright zone. Then you come down a bit and we've got Skeletor. Not like that, you can see it better. You have to excuse all the orbs, guys. I'm pretty sure this flat is haunted. There you've got Snake Man in, Fake Oil, and a few of the guys, Scare Glowing at the bottom now. Coming round, there's the Street Shark section. Oh my God, tongue tied. Street Shark section. So, that's very, very happy how that's coming along. Um, as you can see, it's a bit tight with space in there as well. That is my Ewok Battle Boat Wagon section. Although that is the Robin Hood battle wagon, but it still looks good with the Ewoks. As you can see there, I've got a Skyelectric Ewok on a speeder bike. So coming up, guys, as my Darth Vader telephone holder. Then we're on to the mask section. It's actually got three shelves because of the amount there is. I still need Volcano. Um, I still need Laser Command, which is one thing I probably won't get, to be honest, because of the price of it. I've got most of the mask I want. There's my Rhino, which I custom-painted gold. So, very, very happy with that. There's my Roger Rabbit. Here's my uh, toy shelf fin. So, I've got a few... McFarlane, Warhammer's there. Coming down, you've got a G Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe. You've got a Black Series, Shadow Stormtrooper. You've got a few... The bag shouldn't be there, guys, sorry. A few retro Star Wars figures there. So, guys, coming up here... Oh, watch the uh, shake, guys. They've got the Gremlin section. As you can see, my my spider gremlin hasn't got no legs, so it's being eaten by the Doctor Who spider. <laughs> There's another out right there. This is the few outs at the top there, as you can see. Four boxed outs. There's a few more Black Series Star Wars figures there. You've got an Optimus Prime. Now, guys, this is one of my this is my main section. So we've got some Daleks there. As you can see, just below that, we've got the uh, Tuscan Warriors section. Just a few odds and sods, Star Wars. And then below that, 
there's a few skate walkers now guys the section behind that you can't see it is um what was down there lord of the ring section so there's a few more so i'll come up on the side because i've got the torch on guys so you can see so i do apologize about the torch bit it's just so you can see what's in there there's a few of my clone troopers so we look like that Here we've got some Decepticons. Blitzwing, one of my favourite Transformers there. A few Seeker Jets. And guys, I'm going to try and get just down there, you can see a few of the reissues. I've had to put all this here, guys, because I'm. this is my sort of selling section, not the large figures there. But there's a few Playmobil and all that here that needs to be sold. So guys, back to the collection. There's a few Sith Lords. Oh, I am. I keep saying that I'm going to do a special on my Sith Lords and Jedi's. It's just bearing with me, guys. There's my Jabba the Hat set up. Then there's my Sand Crawlers and Jawas. Absolutely love it. A few more Black Series, as you can see. There's my Jedi's. Let's just come over here a bit. It's my Jedi section. Just a few more Transformers there. And the Heroes of Cybertrons. Ultra Magnus, Megatron there. My Blue Grimlock, I do love my Dino Bots. So guys, I don't think you can see it, but down here is a lot of my retro Star Wars. It's very hard to see because of the boxes and that. But I have shown it in previous videos, guys, so it's not as if you haven't seen it. So guys, stepping back. Like I said, this is just the front room. So if we just go round. There's more figures on there. Guys, on that side, it's just a load of the new Star Wars figures. So you haven't missed much. This is what I'm saying, guys. It is literally like living in a toy shop. This is my small soldier section. I want to get these in a cabinet because they're getting eaten alive by dust. Just a few more bits there. This is for when I do the videos in the kitchen. But I do love my small soldiers. Great film, by the way. As you all know. It's my Lego Star Wars set. And then just there, all pulled up, there's a few more Transformers. So guys, in one of my favourite sections, it's my Battlestar Galactica. Absolutely love the Cylons and it was one of the best programs of its time. It will also love the rerun as well. The Battlestar Galactica, absolutely awesome. And just below them, got the gargoyles. Great toy line. Never had none as a kid, but thought I'd get a few in my collection. Now this is my other predator section, guys. Let's just get on my knees so I can do it properly. There's Big Red. A few of the newer ones, the cheaper ones. A couple of berserkers at the back there. One from the movie. Alien Throne. Absolutely awesome part of my collection. A couple of clan leaders there next to each other. <clears throat> and then come down here. Cut them in boxes. There's the blue one. I love him as well. I'd love to stand him next to red. I am thinking of doing it. It's just a couple more sections there.
Jeep's in the corner here, guys. You've got all my dyno riders. Which I absolutely love. I love my dyno riders. You've got my ATTE, and then just over here, you've got my tank. There's another alien section, guys. Again, these are the cheaper ones from Smith's. There's the Xbox set one, it's pretty awesome. Come around here, you'll see a few more. So just below, above that, I've got my small turtle section. There's Super Shredder. And just above that, I've got King Con, which my wife got me. And then around that, guys, it's all my Planet of the Apes. Now, Planet of the Apes, I love Planet of the Apes. Absolutely awesome movies, Planet of the Apes. And that, that is just below the Ghostbusters section. So again, this is in the hallway again. It's just another cabinet. This is in the bedroom. Now, I'm not allowed many toys in the bedroom, guys. My wife has put me on a Limit, this is just a shelf. Here we have in my cabinet, my Inhumanoids and my Centurions. And I've got a couple of uh, Rancors at the back there. Again, due to space, there's even a Kylo Ren tucked in the corner. But this is basically my, there's Mag, was it Mag, Magnoc? Redwood. Now there's a story here, guys. I did. I nearly had decomposed, but there's been a, a horrible miss up with the posts, and I end up losing the figures. I'm absolutely gutted about that because I really thought I had them. So as you can see, I still need two of the big monsters, and I still want to get some more figures for the rest of them. Just below them, it's my Ewok village. So this, so this is because it's my bedroom. So there's my clothes. This is my Ewok section. Needs a bit of a tidy up. On, but as you can see, I've got quite a few different Ewoks now. Coming down, it's my battle of the two towers. Lord of the Rings. So guys, coming up, that's just the, that's just a castle full of all different toy soldiers that I'm probably going to let the grandkids play with. There's Flash Gordon's ship hanging out there at the top. Now guys, at the top here is my, it, it was all on display, but I've got so much He-Man Origins now. That it's not much of a display now, it's more of a, dis, um, just a storage area until I finally get my own big massive rooms and my wife lets me do my thing and it's the same on the top of the other wardrobe it's not much of a display now it is just a storage area so like i said guys as you can see i do need to um sell some stuff <laughs> But, and then over here, it's, again, it's a bit messy, but it's all my old computers, all the Super Nintendo, Nintendo GameCube and that, and a few bits. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed my little toy museum show. I hope you had a fantastic day. Thank you very much.
Fight!